Well, hey gang, how are you doing? Jonathan here for Tailhunter Sport Fishing, and it's time once again for the Mexican Minute La Paz Video Fishing Report, coming to you from La Paz, Baja, Mexico, and covering all of the fishing action for our Tailhunter Sport Fishing fleet for the week of the 10th through the 16th of October, 2021. Wherever you are, hope you're doing well. Thank you for checking in. Thanks for spending time with us. And please, if you like what we're doing, help us out. Give us a like, give us a thumbs up, and please help us uh, by getting to the 1,000 subscriber mark by subscribing. Okay, let's jump right into it. Let's take a look at this week's fishing gallery. A lot to show you and a lot to tell you about on the other side of the fishing, fo fishing photos. Talk to you in just a bit. Okay then, a lot of photos to show you, a lot of Dorado. Did you notice that? That was the predominant biter this week. A lot of Dorado. Here we are at the end of the season. We've probably only got maybe two, maybe three more weeks left this season, and you can already tell things are changing. I know you can't really see what's going on behind me because it's kind of washed out, but looking out over the bay, the skies are getting cloudy once again, and I'll tell you about the storm we had this week, but also getting windier, a lot more of these northern winds. In fact, I had a couple folks come back early today because they said they got seasick so a little rougher out there you can tell things are changing so we've really only got a couple more weeks left of the warm water season and a great indication of that that the warm waters are still here are all of the dorado that we're biting i think this is the first week we didn't get too many of the marlin and the sailfish and we've had a great season on marlin and sailfish incredible season uh, more marlin more sailfish than i've seen in the last 10 years combined but i think this is the first week in a long time i think we only hooked maybe two or three, all of them lost or broken off. Not much in the way of billfish, but what made up for it were all of the Dorado. Some really nice Dorado biting, both for our La Serenas and our La Paz fleet, although better in La Paz than in La Serenas. Fish runnings from uh, five pounds up to maybe 25, some 30 pounders that were lost. I'd say probably the majority of the fish, maybe about 90% of the catch this week were Dorado, which kept a lot of people happy. They're a lot of fun to catch. They're exciting, they're colorful, they jump, uh, especially for a lot of the first timers when we've got families here or kids uh, or folks who really don't have a lot of fishing experience. Nothing like hooking onto the Dorado. And on top of that, they're great eating as well. So a lot of folks taking Dorado either to our restaurant, a lot of folks bring, able to bring back Dorado in their ice chest, bringing it home. Other species that we had, Still no tuna, still no wahoo. I don't know what to tell you. I know every week people come down or our regular clients are asking, where are the tuna and the, and the wahoo this year? You know, I think we've gotten eight tuna for the whole year. Not per boat, not per week. Eight, eight tuna total for the whole year. Wahoo, I think we're up to nine. That's it. I don't know where they are. It just wasn't the cycle for them to be here. We've had a great roosterfish season, had a great billfish season. The Dorado bite has been very, very good. We've caught a number of other species that we normally don't see, or we've got an abundance of those species that we normally don't see. But tuna and wahoo, I, I, I've got no idea. Watch, next year, everybody's going to want Dorado, and we're going to get tuna and wahoo, and everyone's going to complain because there's not enough Dorado. This year, everyone's catching Dorado like crazy and they're asking where the tuna and where are the wahoo. That's you know, just the way it is for fishing. It's very, very cyclical. So 
Uh, we've got a lot of Dorado uh, biting for both of our fleets, but we also had quite a number of other species, including a lot of cold water species. As I told you at the beginning of the video, we're starting to see things change. This week, we had a lot more winds, and looking at the forecast, it looks like a lot more northern winds are going to start blowing. We're going to start seeing some real gusts. And, you know, behind me, you can already see some white water packing up, and that's just the way it's going to get. And when we get this consistently, it's going to change the water temperature. It's going to change the entire complexion of the kind of fish we're catching. And that's very indicative of what we caught this week. Not only did we get Dorado, but rooster fish are still around, which is very unusual. Some 30, 40, 50 pounders still on the bite. And we also got, uh, you know, we, if you've been watching our fishing report for the last couple of weeks, you saw all the Sierra we're catching, an abundance of Sierra, more Sierra than I've ever, ever seen in the 30 years I've been here, and some big, big Sierra. I mean, they're, you know, I said there's no Wahoo. Well, consider the Sierra to be baby Wahoo. They're maybe running three, four, five, six, maybe some eight pounders out there, incredibly larger fish than I normally see. And uh, instead of catching maybe two or three, four per day, some of the boats are getting two, three, four, five or more Sierra per boat per day. So Sierra biting, we're also starting to get some yellowtail, also getting some amberjack. Those are fish that we normally don't see until the waters get cooler, like the early winter or springtime. Those are cooler water fish, but they're already showing up. On top of that, mixing things out with some pargo, some cabrilla, snapper, uh, lots of bonita, those pesky needlefish are still around, Jack Crevel, and uh, let's see, oh, some palometta also getting some uh, uh, permit and a, a couple of Jack, uh, different kinds of Jack, can't even think of the name of it right now. But uh, just a wild mix of fish. I think I caught, we, I counted 12 different species of fish caught this week. So there's still stuff biting, a lot of Dorado, and then mixed in with some other species. So everyone's catching fish, everyone's bringing home fish that wants to bring home fish. But just a heads up that the weather is changing. It's getting cooler. I think today it's only going to be about 85, 86 degrees compared to the high 90s that it has been. Humidity is down. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, we did have a glitch this week. Fishing was going along very, very well. And then all of a sudden out of nowhere, we got Tropical Storm Pamela who came up and really didn't drop anything on us. It did turn into a hurricane category one and it hit the mainland. But it kind of veered and kind of gave us a little, you know, elbow into the uh, side of the ribs there it dropped a lot of rain on us Cabo got a lot of rain we got uh, a couple of days of on and off rain some very strong flooding as a matter of fact and it forced us to cancel one of the days of fishing that wasn't any fun but on the other side of that usually after getting a lot of rain the waters are very dirty very upturned uh, very cold because it brings up the upwellings and usually it takes a couple of days for the fishing to come back after we get a storm. Surprisingly though, the day after the storm hit, we started getting Dorado. Other fish started biting as well, so it su was surprisingly good considering that we'd had a big storm. The only thing I'm gonna tell you is that since the storm, it's been very windy, it's been very rough, and uh, we're hoping that's gonna settle down a little bit, but I have a feeling it's just gonna consistently get a little rougher and a little windier as things go on. Anyway, a quick wrap up for what happened this past week. Hope you're doing well. Please take care of each other. I'm Jonathan for the Mexican Minute, and I appreciate you checking in, spending time with us. And please give us a thumbs up, give us a like, and please don't forget to subscribe. Take care. We'll see you next week. And this is Jonathan for the Mexican Minute.